So did that girl get out of the basement yet? No, not yet. No, she's still there. Oh, cool, cool. Speaking of horror movies, did, yes. Did you like this one? Ah, uh, I didn't hate it. Did, but okay. Now, so, now, did it scare me as much as the original Strangers? Probably not. But I still enjoyed it. I, dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I fucking hated this movie. Really? I, I mean, at least it brought back that trope of yelling at the fucking screen of what the fuck are you doing? Uh, <laughs> okay, but I will give you that. It did bring back that trope. Because there was plenty of times in this movie where I was like, this fucking guy and bitch are doing things that are retarded. What's it called? I, okay. The original Strangers, I think, was good because, like, it, it was a not first of its kind, but it was it was kind of, it was a new thing, right? And it was terrifying, you know, they break in and there's nowhere to run. But it's good. It's very stressful. This movie, I didn't give a fuck about these two characters at all. I think they showed too much in the trailers. Uh, I think you're right, dude, because there's only like two skirmishes with the fucking strangers and that's it. Yeah. Like, it, and it doesn't happen until the last, I think, like 35 minutes of the movie. Yeah. And if, if you're going to do a slow burn, you better know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, I just felt like they showed too much in the trailer. But I think if they didn't show all that in the trailer, because, I mean, it's the strangers. You could have easily just built off of the name. Yeah. Well, also, they didn't have to be the same strangers. They could have been a different fucking story. You could have called it A Night in the Woods. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, you could have. And then, but uh, I'm copywriting that. No one can fucking use it. This is uh, this is voice copyright. You can't fucking use it. Into the, what would you call it? Into the Woods? A Night in the Woods. A Night in the Woods. Fuck it. The Rollback Productions. We're making a movie. Who's the bad guy for you? Joe Biden. All right, we can we can we can workshop this. He forgets why he's in the woods. Oh no! And he's the killer. Does Kamala Harris show up at the very beginning and then completely fucking like go missing? You mean after making profit off of prisons? Yes. Fair enough. Fair enough. Are we gonna have uh, Greg Abbott there making money off of uh, dead kids? No, but we're gonna have uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene and uh, the chick that she was uh, hashing it out with uh, mud wrestle. Oh, gee, not, dude, okay, what? Do you want to sell tickets? Like, no one's going to want to see that. Jesus. What's wrong with you? I mean, everyone loves a monster movie. Oh, <laughs> uh, and just like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> but, right, so, is it just me also, or was this movie, like, almost a copy-paste of the original? Copy and paste of the original? It was pretty fucking close, I think. I hit a lot of the same beats. But did you ever see the second one? Yeah, I actually kind of liked the second one. I thought, I thought the second one was okay. I, I, didn't, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, it's probably because I saw it with one of my bitch exes, but <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of it. I remember they kill one of the strangers. Yes, they did. Yeah, they managed to kill one of them. It was a family of four. I, I, I think the scene I remember the most is the 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 scene where the person gets killed in the pool. Yeah, I remember that one. And I think it's because like they get they start getting stabbed in the pool, and then like you just see the blood like uh like spread out in the water. Well, you're not sure if it's the stranger or the yeah. The, the civilian it has the it has the chick from uh madman and no not that the the girl the teenage girl she came out in a lot of shit like she was always in a lot of movies mm-hmm. and she, i remember her more from a law and order svu let me see the main bailey bailey madison yeah i remember she came out in law and order svu but she came out in a lot of movies uh let's see pretty little liars origin bridge to terabithia the good witch are you sure she came out in a lot of good movies? Because she might have been more of a TV actress. I think. Oh yes, okay, I recognize her. Yeah, no, she was a straight up TV, TV actress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember her, especially as a kid, because I remember the, the I remember because I used to watch Law and Order SVU a lot as a as a kid because it'd always be on like whenever I got home from school. Yeah, and that fucking dun dun. And yeah. Then, yeah, she was a she was in an episode where uh where the. She gets adopted by uh, one of the Ar- Arnett siblings. Uh-huh. Uh, not Arnett. Uh, Arquette. One of the Arquette siblings. The the girl. Uh-huh. And, uh, and, like, they adopt her and they start changing her into their daughter that disappeared. Like, they make her dye her hair and all this shit. And then, like, they find their daughter, like, in the episode and they just kind of look at her and she's like, what's going to happen to me now? Oh, that's fucking sad. Yeah. Oh man, that's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, she was a big uh, uh, child star actress. She was in Lonely Hearts, Br- Bridge to Terabithia, Brothers. 
fuck, dude. She, yeah, oh, she, brothers. She's the daughter and brothers. Yeah, the, isn't she the like, one? Uh, the you're just life? mad because mom's fucking what's his face? Did Jake she, Gyllenhaal. Did she say fucking or did she say uh, kissing? I know. I think she says fucking. Oh wow! Maybe it's a rated R movie, dude. They could drop fuck. They could drop fucking there. I know. Well, she's she, okay. This is 2009. She was born. Okay, she was ten. I could I could hear a ten year old saying the word. Fuck. I think I think she did use fucking. Damn. Okay. Way to way to stress out your dad. Well, especially after he killed his buddy in uh <laughs> in war. Did he killed him because he wouldn't stop like screaming or crying, right? I don't remember what. Why? What no, it. they made him fight to the death. Oh really? Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Damn, it's been a while since I've seen Brothers. I'm not a big fan. It was okay, but I was like, this is a little over the top. I don't remember. Does he die? Does he? He tries to to get killed in the end, right? Yeah. Uh, police show up at the house. He's like, fucking. I think he's like, fucking kill me. Yeah, suicide by cop. That's what, that's what the term. And uh, they don't kill him. He goes to a, a mental hospital, and he just kind of gets left at that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then at the end, he confesses that he had to kill his best friend uh, in order to go home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you know what the thing is? People will watch this and be like, those monsters. But the U.S. was pretty fucked up and played games like that, too. Yeah. Well, I remember we were going over that lesson near the end of uh, near the end of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like 9-11 and the, the war in Iraq, the war on terror. And it, bre it brings up a little bit, like slightly, that incident where those, uh, those uh, army, I think they were army soldiers, mm -hmm. that were taking pictures of... Oh, uh, yeah. Of the captives and like making him do shit like put your finger in his butt and all that shit. Yeah. And uh, so like we're it, it doesn't say what what happened. It just brings up soldiers were uh were caught doing like some stuff. Yeah. And I wasn't like, let's bring up the pictures. <laughs> but you know how these kids are, man. They're fucking little shit sometimes. And one of them was like, Can we see the pictures? I'm like, why? So you can see someone being treated like a dog. Yeah. Jesus. Ugh. I, I mean I remember, I, I want to say I saw those pictures when we were in school, but I think they were actually in the book. Because they showed them on the news. No, but I swear, I can almost swear, I think they showed some of them in the textbooks. No, dude. That shit happened in like fucking 08, 07. That's not going to be in the fucking textbook. I swear to God, I think I, they brought it up in class. I remember that. No, they brought it up because it was all over the news. Because think about it. This happened in 9-11 uh, happens in 01. This incident happens, I want to say, between 05 and 08. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And then where the, where it's not going to be in any textbooks. I swear, maybe I saw it in newspapers because I remember seeing it in print and going like, "What the hell?" I remember seeing it in print. So I, I guess it was in a newspaper or a magazine because I remember thinking the one that was fun teaching them about was 9/11. Why? What the? Why? Well, no, because I mean we grew up when that fucking happened. Oh, you remember yeah. all the shit that happened afterwards. Yeah. Um. So like, for the lesson, like we were supposed to read a book. And it's like it tells you like uh survivors' accounts of like what what was happening in the towers. And I was like, fuck that. Uh, so I brought up a video where it shows like beat for beat what's happening. And we're watching like. I mean, they didn't say I couldn't. Is it one of those things where it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission? Well, there's no blood or anything. Oh, okay. So you don't see any body. Like it shows the plane hit the tower. Yeah. And like we're talking about it, things like that. I'm like, well, at this point in time, the plane hits a tower. No one is thinking like, oh, this is a terrorist attack. This is a terrorist attack. People thought this was an accident at first. Yeah, People were thinking like it was a, it was a pilot that just got lost and hit the tower. But then pe people slowly and surely started to figure out, no, we are under attack. Well, and it's crazy because if you go back, I, for some reason, I think last nine eleven, I actually went back and rewatched some of the man. We are way off topic, off fucking strangers. I know uh, <laughs> we're horrible reviewers. <laughs> and look, if the movie was good, we'd be talking about it. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> Doesn't mean it was bad. I, I, okay. For all right, we will get to our final thoughts after we're done talking about nine eleven, sir. All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, this past nine eleven, I remember I went back and I rewatched some of the old uh, newscasts, and it was freaking yeah. me out. Because you obviously now in hindsight we know it's a terrorist attack, but do do you remember like the like being in school? Like yeah. we, I don't remember I was getting taken out of school because no, of it. I was at school the whole day. I think. Yeah, I remember being at school the whole day. I, I think my mom was like, "I don't give a shit. There's a terrorist attack. You're staying in school." Well, I don't even think they were letting us release. Because then again, that I was, was supposed to be a joke, dude. Come on, you're <laughs> supposed to laugh. <laughs> but that's how my mom was. My mom wouldn't fucking let us leave school. <laughs> Did she let you go to school the next day too? Yeah, what's called? Um, I think the high schools let out. Our school didn't. Garza, Probably. 
Do you, know Do you remember watching the news in school? Yeah, when I, we saw it as it was happening. We saw the second plane hit. Yeah, I, I I vaguely remember. I remember more my teacher freaking out. I, you know what my teacher said that stuck with me? I think that's what forced me. You're to... all gonna die. <sighs> no, dude, get, hear this and then tell me that she's not the biggest fucking Karen. She fucking she fucking said first you guys are acting up and now there's a terrorist attack. Today's just a bad day. Oh shit! Yeah. All right, okay. all right, all right, Miss Robinson, Ms. fuck us, Miss Robinson. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I, again, I'm a child. And I'm like that doesn't sound fair. That doesn't sound right. Um. Well, stop yeah. being little shits, dude. You ever been in a fucking classroom? You know what it's like being on the other side of that desk. <laughs> hey man, for the record, I was one of the good kids growing up. Everyone says that. You know. You know what I noticed? No one ever confesses to being the bully. Everyone just likes to talk about how they were picked on. Yeah. No one's ever the bad guy. Everyone's just like, oh, yeah, no, I was bullied when I was a kid. Where are you? Where I mean, are you? there are, there. I mean, most of the time, bullies are bullies because they're being picked on somewhere else. So it's just a, a circle of hate? Pretty much. Yeah. We, All right, you, back to strangers. Wait, no, no, I want to mention this. Did you know in, uh, there's a Danish uh, city um, where the schools actually permit fistfights between the boys? That's hot. I'm, okay. Weird response? You want you want to elaborate? I don't know. It's, I mean, that's awesome. Uh, there's rules though. One, you have to fight on the mat. Uh, no. Ball. So it's a wrestling match. Well, no, well, they can throw punches, but oh. no hitting uh, in the balls or in the face. That's stupid. Those are the only rules. But you can like body shots or wrestle, I guess. Fuck wrestling. that! I'm gonna curb stomp him. You didn't say anything about curb stomping. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Open well, your fucking jaw. <laughs> See, when you said curb stop, I thought you meant the Seth Rollins like jumping stop. No, I'm talking put your fucking jaw on that goddamn concrete. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with us? Fuck. We saw a lot of fucked up shit when we were a kid, dude. The internet was a wild west when we were kids. I, you, dude, it was a wild, wild west, dude. I remember in high school we were watching video. Kids, don't don't listen to what I'm about. Remember when Steve was obsessed with the Pain Olympics? Oh, I remember. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to go into time capsule, look up the Pain Olympics. I we're not responsible not. for what happens to you. Or was it what? Two guys, one jar, or one guy, one jar? Uh, there was, I think, two guys, one horse. Uh, three guys. Oh, I, I remember seeing that one. Three guys, one hammer. Um, yeah, I didn't see that one, but I remember Steve saw it and he told me about it. What else? There's more fucked up ones. Dude, to... I'm so happy I did not watch a lot of that fucked up shit. I think the only ones I really watched were two guys, one horse, and I think, uh, I mean, the the fucking the starter of it all. The the nine eleven of of the Wild West Internet, uh, two girls one cup. Oh God! I, I remember I had to download that shit off of LimeWire. I forgot about that honestly. I had to download that shit off of Lime of LimeWire to fucking see it. Didn't they do a sequel? I don't know. I don't want to check. I me neither. Do we even know who were they? Like, did anyone ever know who the fuck these two chicks were? No idea. Oh God! Someone that was lied to. I, I threw up in my mouth a little bit just now. I'm remembering it. There was one. <laughs> there's one called not the Pain Olympics. I don't remember what it's called. The Gauntlet. And it's just like 42 real fucked up videos, and you try to finish the whole thing. But they range from fuck upness, from like just like You're a dude so gets, off topic. We are. Um, <laughs> but it ranges from like a dude getting hit by a car to like you see. You better put the title for this video: The Strangers Chapter One Review. Dot dot dot. Kinda. <laughs> dot dot dot. I'll make I will make that the title. I will make that the fucking title. <laughs> um, but I remember that in that video in the gauntlet, the most fucked up one, not the most fucked up, but the one where I felt bad. It was a kid who apparently wanted to be a magician, right? Uh huh. So he ties the wand up your ass, uh, dude. Uh, he would have lived from that. Oh God. Uh, he so what this idiot does is he ties his feet up in the air and ties his hands behind his back, and then he turns on the water faucet. He's supposed to get the cuffs off before the water goes above his nose. Uh-huh. Well, he's not able to do it, and you see him struggling against the water, trying to breathe, and he just stops moving. So you watch the guy die. Pretty much, yeah. Nice. But, but the shitty thing—he was like some fifteen-year-old idiot. Like that's the shitty thing. He was trying to get out of the handcuffs, like he was a magician. It was part of a magic trick. But uh, magic. Didn't and they wonder why uh, why us late millennials are so uh, so jaded. <laughs> well, dude, we grew up in a fucked up world. We grew up in the wild, wild west of the internet, where this shit wasn't um. Uh, uh what mandate not mandate that's not the right word filtered yeah like you could see those videos on fucking youtube back then now obviously you have to go looking for fucked up shit if you want to see it yep yeah the internet was a wild wild place back then 
Have you ever been on uh, Tor.com? Well, not, have you ever been on Tor, like the dark web or no? I mean, no, I'm not fucking with the dark web. It, there's a lot of drugs and guns on there, man. Stop I, fucking with the dark web. I haven't got, been on in years, but when I would go, like all I would find were... I would be so paranoid if I was you. I would have fucking tape over every single goddamn webcam I own. I was a twenty. I was a mid twenties guy. What the fuck are they gonna do? And I'm and I'm poor. What are they gonna do? Clip scene. Red room. Um. They mark you as a terrorist. Oh no! Maybe that's why they stole my identity. They stole your identity. Maybe. Oh my god. No, I'm kidding. No, they didn't. I lost my social security card once, but nothing ever happened. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, so my back God. to the strangers. Back to the strangers. Okay. Uh, they get. Is it just me or was the town openly hostile with them for no fucking reason? Yeah, that that town was like, fuck these people, New Yorkers. Like they're just openly just fucking dicks to these people. And I was just like, all right, dude, they didn't even do anything. They're just kind of there. Well, not only that, man, they're there to boost your local economy. They're tourists. They're you want tourists, no? Exactly. Like I'm just like. All right, dude, whatever. Um, and then, I don't know if you were doing the same thing, but the whole time I was like, who in this diner is one of the fucking killers? Yeah, same. Uh, did, did they ever, the they never revealed their faces, right? No. Have they ever revealed their faces? I don't think so. Right? I don't think they ever have it, any of them. What'd you think of, uh, so what'd you think of the the creepy parts? Like the parts where um, the guy goes to get his inhaler, and the chicks in the house alone. They knock on the door. They're fucking with her. Like they go inside the fucking house. Uh, okay, dude. To start, and I understand that the the guy really does need the inhaler. I fully understand. Where's your husbandly instinct to be like, hey, I can. They're not. Move- they're not married. That's just his bitch. All right. Where is your male instinct of like, hey? If I leave, something bad might happen to her. I should stay here just to be safe. Yo, I mean, he, nah. he needs to breathe. How? Okay, if it was that important, you should have had it on you. I, well, she's the one that forgot in the car. Well, also, if I'm not mistaken, once everything starts to hit the fan, he never uses it. Am I right? No, he loses it. So you mean he could have been fine without it? No, but remember, he, there's a part where he's hiding behind the tractor tire. He finds a water bottle. He crushes it up to mimic the the effect of using like a, a a paper bag of like breathing in and out you're right i forgot about that still stupid should it she should have taken her with him at the very least go take the motorcycle go slow and get the fucking inhaler well that's one of the dumb parts the other dumb part was the part where uh so this is after they're fucking with them they they go in the house um and boom strangers make themselves known they start chopping down the front door uh they start walking down the stairs and shit and they're in the room. They decide to leave. And they get out. They go around the side. Or they go in the crawl space. Yeah. They get out. And uh, they go. They run to the shed. And they get a shotgun. He gets a shotgun. He missed. Well, he don't, I don't think he missed. I mean, the dude was grabbing his bitch. So it's just like, do you kill your chick or do you shoot the guy? <laughs> so he kind of I mean, he can kill two bitches in one stone. Oh, that's true. So he kind of shoots to the side. So they, they get in the in they kill the fucking dude that was gonna go and fix the refrigerator. <laughs> dude was minding his own business, handling shit. Like, see, this is what happens when gun safety is not taught to people. <laughs> Identify yourself, fucking idiot. And I so, never mentioned after they kill him, they're just like, "Oh no, we shot." He's them. like, "Oh fuck, I killed him!" And the chick is just like, "You didn't know. It's not your fault." And so they get in the well, in the like jeep. They get in his Jeep and they start backing up and the the truck starts ramming him. Why didn't they aim the shotgun at the fucking truck? Because that would have made sense and ended the movie a little faster. Exactly. You know, I wish I wish they had been smarter. If they had actively bit like acted smarter in the film, I think I would have liked it more because but they were making so many basic bitch mistakes. I kind of I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of don't hate like the the what the fuck are you doing in movies? Because it's, it's just an old trope of horror movies. Because, I mean, there's plenty of times where you watch a horror movie and you're like, why the fuck are you going in there? Dude. Like the, the part where the chick hides in the leaves. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I was like, I would stay in those leaves As forever. A spot. Yeah. I would stay. 
fucking idiots. But still, we're in the crawl space. I would stay in the crawl space. No, but dude, they just ah, uh, they should have stayed in the crawl space. If they had the shotgun, they should have just found a room, stayed there. He gets the shotgun from upstairs. You get higher ground. You yeah, and you just point the shotgun well, down the stairs. Darian brought up a point. She's like, they could light the house on fire or the shed on fire. But I'm like, I don't know. I would still take that risk of hiding upstairs with the shotgun aimed at the fucking stairs. I fucking agree. I who, and maybe one of them owns the goddamn place, so they're like, oh, dude, we can't burn down my cabin. Come on. I mean, they killed the owner. Oh yeah, I'll, guys, I, it's my dad. I get to inherit it. Don't burn down my cabin. But I digress. Um, yeah, no, dude. Like they just made so many stupid fucking. They should have. Okay. I think the part where I started getting angry was when the guy was chopping at the door in the bedroom. Uh huh. And they just sit on the ground, like the most like scared dog, like beta shit of just like watching as the guy like chops at the goddamn wall. Do something. Well, I mean, there's that fight or flight mode. They probably ha don't have that fight mode in them. And I don't know. I think it's more realistic to the point where like, I don't think everybody would just like start fighting back. I mean, you see a dude with a fucking mask start chopping at your at your door, like, and you don't have any fucking weapon. I think most people in that situation would be like, oh, shit. Uh, that's fair. If you But if you're not going to fight him because he got an axe and he's getting through the door, start trying to get the fucking window open and run. Like I, That's why I was like, this is why you carry a pocket knife with you. You're not wrong. Uh, but no, you should be actively either fighting or running, one or the other. You cannot just sit down. I, 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 it, it just fucking infuriated me the fact that he wasn't like trying to get the windows open so that way they could run and escape. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Um, well, okay. In your, for you, same uh -huh. situation, right? You got no cell phone. Your car is in town at the shop. Darian is freaking out, swearing to you that someone was inside the house. What are you doing? I feel like if they tried to leave, they would have gotten killed. How so? Like, because. Like, right after, she's like, I saw someone in the house. Mm -hmm. And he goes to check. Like, they don't find anybody. That's when all this shit pops off. Yeah. Like, I feel like if uh, if they try to leave, like, if they try to walk out that front door, they die. Yeah. I, but, okay, did they have ranged weapons? I don't think they did. They only had, like, a knife, an axe, and I think, well, I can't remember the other weapon. I no, like, I think it was two knives and an axe. Right? So they don't yeah. have... They don't have ranged weapons. Run. No. They have to catch you. The uh, way the fucking chick ran, one of the strangers, I was like, Jesus Christ, runs like a fucking weirdo. Wait, wait when? Uh, In the fog. I don't remember that scene, to be honest. I don't remember that part. And there, yeah, she would like run with her hands to her side and like run all fucking weird and shit. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. There was even that scene in the fog where the guy is holding the shotgun and like he's going through the fog. I'm like, dude, get on the fucking ground and just wait for one of those motherfuckers to walk past you because they're not going to be looking at the floor. Yeah, I. So how much do you know about this movie and the sequels and stuff? I know that they I remember before this movie came out, even before like there was trailers out for it, that they were like, we want to make we're rebooting uh, Strangers. And we want to make it into three chapters or three parts. Yeah. Um, so they actually already finished filming part two. They filmed part one and part two simultaneously together. All right. So they're going all in with part two. I would rather have that than them just being like, oh, part one didn't make money. Mm -mm. But I, I think, okay, and hear me out. Uh -huh. I think that's one reason why this movie wasn't that good. To me, it wasn't that good because of that they were already planning for sequels. Not just that. I, mean, I, I think because apparently the sequels are going to revolve around May. And four days, like the night it happens, and the four days after. That's what oh. all three movies are going to be about. Those four days, right? I think they didn't have enough story for all three, so they just stretched it out as much as they could. And so you get scenes that are fucking boring or don't matter to me. Yeah. Um, because this movie is, isn't even long. It's an hour thirty. Yeah, it's and an hour and a half, not long. I guarantee you, if you cut out the filler bullshit and stuff that's not necessary, you can get yeah. this necessary. Is it necessary for me to? Drink my own urine? No. Ah. But it's that? sterile and I like the taste. Where's that from? Dodgeball? Fuck. Yeah. It is? Yes. Yeah. Patches of Who Hand. Yeah. I dude, I heard it in the voice of an old man in a wheelchair. I was like, what that's the that's our that's our thing as millennials. We hear one word and it automatically brings us back to a, a movie quote that we heard. 
Yeah, you know, dude, I hear, I, uh, I express, you ever, fuck, how do I say this? I express myself in my head with quotes or sound bites, if that makes sense. In your head. Zombie. I like that movie. I like this one. Um, but yeah, man, I just, this movie frustrated me. And now that I know there's going to be a part two, I'm not going to want to watch it. I'll, I'll review it for the podcast. But Jimmy, I think, hey, man, you get three tickets with AMC. Don't act like you're breaking the bank over here. I, you're not wrong, but it's like, you're going to use, what are you gonna use those tickets on, huh? It's like Night Swim. Like, ah, oh, dude, this movie sucked. I wasted my time. Uh, it's, January horror movies always suck. I don't know why. Yeah, but you know, I, would, I thought a May horror movie would be better, especially if it's a franchise. Yeah. But no, dude, this movie, nah. uh, hopefully, maybe hopefully the part two is better, but dude, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm, I'm straight up, I'm not. Yeah, I, I mean, hopefully part two is better. Um, yeah, apparently, maybe they'll be at the hospital. Like, I think that'd be cool. A strangers, but they're in the hospital killing people left and right. Fuck yeah. Wasn't that the setting for Halloween 2, the one with the Jamie Lee Curtis? Uh, yeah, uh, they were in a hospital, and then part two of Halloween Kills, technically half of it is in the hospital. Remember, Jamie Lee Curtis is at the hospital, and they get right. Yeah. Evil dogs tonight. Okay. And they killed that poor dude who was just an innocent bystander. Oh, you mean the, the special needs guy? Yes. They they scare him, and he jumps, and... Which, dude, they even said Michael Myers is like 6'5". How the fuck is this five foot two like special needs guy, Michael Myers? I'm sorry. He looked, he looked tall. I know the fuck he did. You know which movie looks fucking like an extreme version of Silence of the Lambs? That uh, Long Legs movie. Which one's Long Legs? You haven't seen the trailer? Is the one where the spider gets creepier and bigger? I don't know. It's a... It's like... It looks like a... It looks like an investigative horror movie. Oh, yes. Okay, I know what you're talking about. As Nicolas Cage is the killer. Yeah. yeah, it's supposed to have Nick Cage in it. And he, he does like a weird thing where he does this or something? Yeah. Okay, yeah. When does it come out? I don't know. Twelve. It looks like a fucking extreme version of Silence of the Lambs. Dude, I hope it's good. I want it to be good. Missing English Cage, Alice Witt. I just don't like horror movies where they want to fuck with your psyche. I I don't hate those horror movies. Like, is that why you don't like A24 horror films? Because they, they try to be too cerebral? Uh, depends. I like Talk to Me. Talk to Me I thought was good. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't like um the, the one Florence B. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The one Florence B. Yeah, that one. Midsummer. I didn't like that one. I thought that one was stupid. Okay. So, yeah. I, I wasn't a big fan of Hereditary. I thought Hereditary was also stupid. The only part that I thought was creepy was the part where the kid starts slamming his face into the desk. Oh, that fucking hurt. You felt that hit. Yeah. Um, But I thought I thought uh, Talk to Me was better. It's just, I don't know, dude. Some of those, I'm like, why are you trying to fuck with my inner person? I think, all right. I, I'm going to give both of us some credit. Well. Right we were raised to be self-aware with thick skin and confidence to some degree, right? Uh-huh. There are other people where words hurt them. There are people oh, where like, words hurt them. Yeah. Which are mean to you, to do your baby. Like the yeah, no, dude, for real. Like some people, the worst suffering comes from inside their head. So mm-hmm. those movies fuck with them. That's why they're so successful. Mm-hmm. I don't know what else to tell you. Also, I'll, I will say this: uh, fucking. Pearl and X were good from A24. I'll defend those two. Those two were pretty good. I saw X and I was just like, it's just like a, like, I always, because I always heard like, oh, it's just, it's really fucking good. Like, well, I'll never look at alligators the same way again. I'm like, I watched it. I was like, all right, it's okay. But there's nothing about it that I was like, oh man, this movie's really fucking good. Like, for the most part, I felt bad for the dude that had to watch his girlfriend fuck long schlong kitty, uh, kid Cuddy. <laughs> that poor fucker. That poor guy. They never had a conversation about any of this. Oh, and the my. girlfriend's like, I want to be in a movie. And he's like, we never really had this conversation. And she's like, I want to fuck Kid Cudi. The part that I thought was hilarious, though, was where Kid Cudi is naked, and he's like, uh, there's a shadow of his dick. <laughs> and you uh-huh. just see it hanging like close to his knees. <laughs> well, I think... On, do you know what the kill count is? Yeah. So they apparently so they talk about the movies, right? Like and, and what went into making them and all this other stuff. According to them, there was no prosthetic. Apparently, according to them, that like that was legit. Kid Cuddy, Kid Cuddy's just packing. Uh, according to them, yeah, I, I could be they could be wrong, but yeah. Wow. Well, way to go, Kid Cuddy. Good, good for him, man. I ain't gonna judge him. You're packing heat. Uh, but um, 
But yeah, like I saw X. I haven't seen Pearl. I know Pearl is like a prequel to X because it goes. It's based off of the old lady. Yes, uh, Pearl is a prequel to X. Um, it's it's about her when she was youthful, wanting to be um, like a movie star. A whore, but, huh? A whore. A whore. Uh, she actually confronts that. She tries to sleep with another guy, and then she stabs him. He's like, "I'm married." All right, you're the one that came on to him. <laughs> uh, fucking bitch. <laughs> but she. Yeah, it's pretty much her being like, I'm never going to make it in Hollywood. My husband's going to keep me here, and I'm okay with that. And the ending scene, for two over two minutes, Mia Goth looks in the camera and does not fucking blink. And you see tears coming from down her eyes, and she just will not fucking blink. You know, I was like, this chick's fucking weird. And then I saw who she's dating, and I was like, I was like, makes sense. Charlie LaBeouf. Charlie LaBeouf. Charlie LaBeouf. Did he get canceled? I hope he got canceled. No, he's still around. Yeah, he should be canceled. He said he shot at dogs to get a character. Street dogs. Hey, he went to the Met Gala. Yeah. I see. Okay, you can be a terrible person, but shooting at street dogs, I think you should go to hell. I'm sorry. Why did he shoot at street dogs? To get in character for one of his movies. He, he was Which in, movie? Uh, the one where he plays like a drug kingpin or something like that. Let me look it up. I, I can tell it to you in a minute. Let me pull it. Uh, oh. Not me. The tax collector, no? It might have been the tax collector. I'm, I'm going through his uh, filmography. Uh, honey, honey boy, McElroy, Borg, uh, Wallace, Constantine. You might be right. It might be the tax collector. I'm trying to find his movies. It was on Hulu. Last time I checked. Yeah, you're right. The tax collector. Yeah, that's the one to get in character. He would shoot a dog, supposedly. Supposedly. He... You don't even know if it's true or not. There are reports, but obviously he, uh, let me see. Well, that's not fair, dude. You're saying there are reports and then you're like, nope, these reports are true. Have, that's not that's not fair. Allegations of sexual abuse and assault. Where's the part with the dogs? All right, dude, you're just skimming over sexual assault, and you're like, man, that's fine. Where's the <laughs> shit about them shooting dogs? Well, no, I, I, I'm not making light of the situation. Get your priority that, straight. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the part that I mentioned was the him shooting at dogs. So you're like, ah, eh, sexual assault. They okay in my book. Shooting at dogs. Uh, shooting straight dogs with a gun to get in character for the film Tax Collector, reported by Variety. August 26, 2022. There it is. But was it confirmed? Um, it was stated by his ex, who was also FK, FKA Twigs, accused Shia LaBeouf of... I'm no sorry, what was her name? FKA Twigs. FKA Twigs. You're going to trust someone whose name is FKA Twigs. That's her personality. That's her like uh, performance name. Her real name is Talia Deborah Barnett. That her 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 stage name is FKA Twigs. I thought you were gonna say her stripper name. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's the one that also outed him for shooting at street dogs to get in character. Which I don't know, yeah, dude. Fuck this guy. But, that's true, fuck but but do you think it's also an ex just being like, hey, you know what else he did? Lying on his taxes. I feel like the lying on his taxes would get him in more trouble, unfortunately. Um, yeah. some people shoot dogs. Some people lie on their taxes. I feel like one of those things is worse than the other, though. But which one is lying it? under taxes? No, shooting at dogs, you jackass. No, oh, sorry. Uh, but okay, sorry. we should get back on topic. The fucking strangers. Okay, so overall, the movie, I give it a I give it a either a C plus or a B. You're very generous today, aren't you? So oh. It's either gonna be like a seventy-eight or an eighty. Dude, I'm giving it a 2 out of 10. All right, dude, you change your ratings like so many fucking times. No, I've been doing... Go from stars to fucking numbers. Yeah, dude, I've been using this new system for like two months now. I'm trying to like open my horizon because I'm tired of giving everyone like a, a B plus or whatever or an A minus. Mm. I'm like, that's too easy. I'm trying to have higher standards for good movies. It's I don't very want Republican of you. You're very welcome. For the record, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not Republican. Welcome. Um... But yeah, man, a 2 out of 10. It's not good. I'm not going to rewatch it. I hope the second one's better. Maybe with the second one, this one's better. I don't know. We'll find out. I hope it sets up a good second movie. Because I, I feel like The Strangers is a good property. It just needs to be used right. I agree. I think there were a lot of good ideas in this that just did not work. To me, it did not work. This felt on borderline reshoot of the original. Borderline. Um, but yeah, uh, Fernie, what, what are we talking about next week? Uh, What's coming out this week? Furiosa? Furiosa? I've never even seen Mad Max Fury Road. Really? Really? Never. 
wasn't that movie nominated for an Oscar? And I, I'm surprised you've never seen Fury Road. Wow. There's plenty of movies that have been nominated for Oscars that have been like, couldn't give a shit. La La Land, couldn't give a fuck. What year did you do your uh, 360? Anal. Movies? Oh, uh, 2014. Fair enough. The following years when Matt, I was gonna say that should be one of the movies on your 365 movie list. It was 2014 or 2015. I remember. I still have it somewhere. I can't believe you don't talk more about that. Also. Oh, you mean that I've watched a movie or documentary every day for a year? Yeah, I'm surprised you want to talk more about that. Mm. Fair. Um, but yeah, man, Mad Max Fury Road is pretty good. So, I mean... I bought it on Vudu because they had it on sale, I think, for like eight bucks. Fair. I mean, it's up to you. We can review that, or do you want to review something else? Is there another movie out that you want to, that you want to talk about? Uh, or we can do a roll uh, and watch an old movie. I know, uh, I know that new horror movie is supposed to be coming out this coming week. Which one? The the one shot completely from the killer's perspective. Oh, um, a dangerous nature or something like that. Yeah. Let me see. I'm looking it up real quick. Yeah, that one's supposed to come out on the 31st. A violent nature, maybe. Yeah, in in a violent nature. Yes. Okay, there you go. It comes out on the 31st. I want to see Fall Guy. Fall Guy looks funny. I actually saw Fall Guy. I didn't like it, but if you want to watch it, we're actually going to review it today, me and Chema, but mm. dude, I honestly don't. No? Nah. No, that's funny. It, it's, it's funny at parts. I just, uh, I couldn't get into it, man. Mm. But uh, up, up to you. Um, a Violent Nature, it comes out next week. I'm down to review it. That's from Shudder. It's from the same people that made, uh, uh, what's that Halloween movie that just came out? The late I night saw the night. Devil? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I I need to watch that one too. I haven't I haven't watched it. It's really good. The only thing that ruined it for me was the fact that they use an AI. Oh, I was like, God damn it! But uh, yeah, overall, I give this movie seventy eight, eighty. Yeah, this movie too, folks. If you're listening to this and you're on YouTube, comment below who's right, me or Fernie, and why am I right? If you also think Eddie's a piece of shit, put that below too. <laughs> watch someone's gonna comment Eddie's a piece of shit. Watch it's Nikki. Good. good. <laughs> All you know right. what, actually, spiders are very closely related to insects. So, yeah, it is your fucking job to go kill them. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> All right, Fernie, you want to hit the outro? Thank you, everybody, for joining us for our review of Strangers, Chapter 1. Right, Please yeah. join us on the rollback, where we whine and bitch about movies and wrestling, wherever you get your podcast needs. Uh, we try to put out podcasts every week, hopefully twice a week, but, uh, you know, it happens. Please check us out wherever you get your podcast needs, Google, Spotify, and Apple. Thank you again for joining us for this podcast, Bitching About Strangers Chapter 1. I'm Fernie. I've been Eddie. And this was your podcast. Let's cut it.